I'm now going to show you how to use Sketcher constraints to create some complex shapes. So Sketcher constraints come in handy. So I'm going to first by clicking the top plane here. That's going to be my sketching plane. And I'm going to click Sketch. And to get this rotated so I can view it, I'm going to click the Sketch View button. And let's say I want to create a regular hexagon. A regular hexagon is a hexagon that has all sides are equal and the internal angles are all equal to each other. So let's just start by using the line tool. I'm going to start by just making a hexagon. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We just need six sides here. All right. So there are six sides. I'm going to middle click to get out of the line tool and middle click again. And now we have a hexagon. Now this is a hexagon, but not a regular hexagon. Um, we need to make all sides equal and all internal angles equal. So up here you see a constraint dialog here, a constraint box, and these come in really handy. So for example, we can make lines vertical, we can make lines horizontal, we can make two lines perpendicular, meaning they have a 90 degree angle between them. Coincident, if we wanna make a point uh, lock on another point, we have parallel if we want to make lines parallel. This button makes lines equal to each other, symmetric up here, and then a midpoint here. So I think the first thing I want to do is make all sides equal. So I'm going to hit this equal button, and then I'm going to just start selecting the sides around the outside of this hexagon. So it says equal now, these two are equal, and I'm going to make these two equal. So now these are all equal to each other and just go around and select all of those. So now we have a hexagon that has all equal sides. It's not yet a regular hexagon because the internal angles are all different. So how do we make those all equal? So we could go around and, and specify angles for all these, but let's use the constraint box a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna say horizontal, I'm gonna make the top line horizontal and the bottom line horizontal. and now if I middle click, I get out of that constraint. Um, and now you can see I can drag it here and it also drags this direction. Um, so let's say I wanna make it symmetric around this, this line here. And so I can use a center line tool and I'm gonna draw a center line right down the middle. And I middle click to get out of that. And now let's use a symmetric constraint. I'm gonna click this point and I'm gonna click this point and then the center line. And that now makes this point equal distant uh, to the center line as this point. And I'm gonna middle click to get out of the symmetric tool and we can still drag it this direction, but it's looking better. And let's say um, we can use the dimension tool now. So if I use the dimension tool, I, to create a new dimension, I would left click one line here and left click the, another line here. And then somewhere in the middle, I middle click, middle click. So it's left click, left click, and then middle click, create that dimension. And we won't specify it yet. And then I'm going to do another one from the top to the bottom. left click, left click, and then middle click. So now I have two dimensions here. Let's drag these a little bit so we can see things better. And let's try to make those equal to each other. So let's say uh, this is 300 and this one is also 300. And by doing that, I believe that should make all these internal angles equal to each other. If we wanna double check, and go up to the dimension tool. I'm gonna to left click here, left click here, and then middle click in the middle. And that says it's over constrained right now. That's why you're getting this dialog box. It says it's over constrained. Um, but if you wanna just leave this dimension up, you can just make it a reference dimension. So make the dimension reference. And that's what each one of these internal angles should be for a regular hexagon, 120 degrees. So that is a regular hexagon, and that was a long step to go through just to make a hexagon. 
Um, so there are easier ways. There's this palette tool. So if you want to make a hexagon, you can use that palette tool. And it has polygons that you can just uh, drag in right to your drawing if you want and make it bigger. And that would be also be a regular hexagon that you can put in here. So that is how to use the dimension tool and some of the sketcher constraints.